Howdy fellas, how you doing? You know we have the Arcana Heroes Cup coming up in about half an hour, but I thought maybe cast some more games to warm up beforehand. And I got a nice game for you. Um, it was actually played out on Wednesday, I believe, in the uh, Rocket vs. Sphere Invitational, but wasn't casted yet. And it's featuring one of the best teams right now in Europe, Alternate, and also a very strong contender um, that I actually just managed to see for the first time on Monday, Hyperactive. And I do have the replays, so let's get started right away. The first map is Cursed Hollow, and here we have them as the blue team on the left side, alternate. And they sport a Valor, an Uberak, Turail, Falstad, and Uther. Their opponents on the right hand side are hyperactive and they have Rhaegar in the top lane, Tassadar, Arthas and Tychus in the mid lane and Shen in the bot lane. Uh, it looks a little bit too fast, so let's get that back to normal. <laughs> Faster game speed, not the standard speed, of course, in uh, Heroes. Alright, so we have a nice little gang squad here in the middle. But it looks like Vala is pretty cautious so far. And not falling for any traps. I mean, against Tessida in the middle, she's not gonna go all, all too much forward. So, um, I don't think they're, not, they're gonna get that gang uh, up already soon. And here we have Noob Material cleaning up the easy camp. Shouldn't run into too much troubles there. But check out that Vala. Is she, is she gonna fall for that? They're waiting here for a long time. And the first level up comes in. Shen uh, shouldn't run into too much trouble here against Uther. Pretty much even on these lanes. And there we go. Gank attempt comes in. But Vela just vaults away. Should be fine. And how is Rhaegar doing against Feldset? Not, not too good right now. And there we go. First little gank attempt on Arthas. He pushes them away and Feltzer comes in to help out. Tychus from the back dealing a lot of damage. Anoop is pretty low already. And Tesla comes in to help everyone out. Uh, he's getting a good <laughs> bit of damage done though. And will fall in the end. But they did, did take Feltzer out as well. And Tychus from the back. He might get the kill on Anoop. But no, he's taking out Material. Oh, Material and Dada doing a really good job. This was a pretty big early team fight here um, on both of these teams. And Arthas dig. Oh, getting a lot of damage done on Tyrael. He does get away though. And Arthas, uh, ooh, he might be in trouble. Felstead deep dives in there. Ooh, misses the last shot. Wow. <laughs> With the jump in, he might have gotten Arthas here. And Tychus has to come up to help out. This is a pretty strong push right here with Tyrael and Felstead along these siege lines. Uh, they're doing a good, de uh, good deal of damage here on the gate. Already halfway down. Towers run completely out of ammunition, and we have the first tribute spawning already. There we go, it's coming up. And Anoop is already here, already ready and waiting uh, to get the first disrupt off. And it looks like he'll do that right away. No, he's waiting, waiting for the last possible moment. And now the remainder of the team comes in. Tyrael, well, still waiting. I mean, he does want to have that disrupt available if he really needs it. But Tassada and Chen are still staying in lane, so it doesn't look like Hyperactive wants to really go for that tribute just yet. Another nice stun coming in, but also a good stun out of LGM, disrupting Mopsio there with the tribute channeling. Tassada from the back, but he doesn't really want to jump into the fight, so it does look like Alternate will pick this one up. No, another nice disrupt here. And, oh, they have Tychus backed up in the corner, but he can jump away and will run away. Wow, good job out of him. Oh, and they have a nice chase up on Arthas, but he does get away. And, yes, finally given up on that tribute and Hyperactive will return to their lanes. First tribute, Gus go to alternate and everyone returns to their lanes. But check out the talents that they've been picked so far. We have the extended spikes out of the new Barak, giving that little bit more range. Uh, Burrow Charge also with more range and a little bit lower cooldown. Oh, check this out though. Nice little gank attack going up on Arthas. Takes a lot of damage, but can still be safe behind that gate. And now it falls. Now they need to be a little bit more cautious there. 
But he does have Rhaegar up here, so he can heal him back up. Uh, Rhaegar's pretty low on the mana right now. So they will get that forward. No help coming in. Now, there they go. Tychus and Tesla will move in here. And Tessa, uh, and Falset, he needs to watch out. He's pretty squishy. And with only a nuke there, um, if they can stun him out, uh, that would be a good attempt for Hyperactive. And the second tribute is spawning here. Tessa already in position. Everyone else still waiting in the bushes. And Arthas, ooh, getting a good stun off here by a nuke. And a nice, nice stun out of Arthas getting both of these guys. And Tychus in the back, also getting a good bit of damage done, but that's it all so low already. And another nice stun, LGM has to get out of the fight for now. Falcet is taking out though. Uh, good job out of Shen coming out of nowhere there. Oh, and they get the gang up on, on Anu, but he does get away for, for that bit. And wow, what a stun out of Anu getting all four heroes there in the middle. Shen jumps in and might get Val. No, he's taken out before even even getting close to her and it looks like alternate can turn this fight around Arthas is trapped in the middle there nice body block coming out of a noob and only Tacita and Tychus are remaining here oh Tacita still jumps in there but with the face shaft and the shield he does get away and alternate will get the second tribute as well second tri uh, two tributes already grabbed here early on uh, not bad and apparently something was happening, so those guys. Oh yeah, this was team chat, so they were probably pretty, uh, pretty happy about that team, uh, team fight. And they need three heroes up here to actually defend the top lane. Board uh, still going strong, but did lose some ammo at least. And they might go for their hard camp. Nope, not just yet. They know the next tribute is crucial. They need to be out on the map and know when that's happening, and it's probably gonna spawn on the left side. We already have Turiel and Anuk grabbing, that, uh, grabbing those knights. So they are probably in a pretty good position for that next tribute. Let's see when it spawns up. Hyperactive will go for their easy camp now, and... Ooh, hard camp was... Uh, the boss was scouted out. Oh! Arthur is completely out of position! Gets ganked upon five heroes there. No chance he could have ever taken that. We are blessed. Or even got out of it. The and the knights will march upon the middle lane here. And this is actually perfect timing kind of all coming out of ultimate. They know, okay, Hyperactive has to deal with these knights. Uh, they have no way in hell to get into the tribute in time. So they grab it up. No problem, Vela snatches that up. And now they can go for the lanes. Let's see if they're gonna uh, go for a split push here. We have Chen already popping that heroic. We'll have to deal with, the, uh, um, with that easy camp in the, in the bot lane. But the boss is grabbed in the meantime. So Hyperactive knows, okay, we also have to go for our boss, but first, gotta deal with those siege giants. They already got the fort halfway down and still a lot of minions left here. So they will get a good uh, good bit more damage in. And now we have the remainder of the team just moving in middle. So they have all three lanes sieged up. We have the boss moving bottom and the entire team moving middle. So they're gonna get at least one fort here. But Hyperactive, they're moving in, trying to find a nice engagement angle. There comes the shield, an amazing stun coming out of Arthas. But they all get away. And there's the ultimate out of Valor and a follow up by the Falstead. Amazing shock and awe. And he grabs one hero in exchange. Odin takes a lot of damage. Is Tychus in there? Yep, he's completely surrounded. He's gonna get focused out. And another good team fight coming out of alternate. Can they get Tessida as well? No, he does get away. With that Archon farm, should be a little bit safer. But um, they shouldn't overextend here in that defense. I mean, the, the fort is gone. Don't go all out. Oh, they might actually grab the boss just to put the sherry on top. Yes, they will. Uh, we do have... The cooldown is still up on non Shen. Still another second here. So they won't get there in time. They might get them once they uh, get out of the boss. But no, they do want to go for those, for those knights before. And grabbing the knights is pretty crucial. If they would have gotten the knights as well, um, that might have pushed their lanes down just too far for them to recover. They already lost three forts, which is pretty harsh considering they're only at minute nine. 
and they're two levels behind, almost three levels behind. Uh, that's pretty big. Knights are moving down the middle lane. Um, that's not going to be an issue for Ultimate though. Just clearing that up. They have five heroes there. And the boss? Um, cool. It does take a long time for, for Hyperactive to, do, to take this out. Let's see where Ultimate wants to take this. Looks like they want to grab the easy cam. It's coming up in 30 seconds. Grabbing the easy cam and then just straight on uh, besieging the bottom, the bottom lane might be a good idea here. Eight is almost down out of minions already. And Bella comes in there to help out a little bit, and now we have Hyperactive joining the fray. But oh, Bella's just bait tier and moves in with the ultimate follow up out of Bella. Wow, what an amazing wombo combo. Arthur's fault so quickly. Shen also taking a lot of damage. Bella, uh, she might be in trouble. No, everyone comes in to help out, and Shen falls, and the Odin also taking a lot of damage. Tychus in retreat mode all the way back to the main nexus. And uh, I don't think with two heroes that I can even f keep this keep alive. Um, it's gonna be harsh. The minion minions come in, but they're not gonna be that much of them. Could you see how fast that shield was gone? And the keep just melts away. Alternate is just on fire right there. And the next tribute is up. They're gonna grab that. Um, no worries at all. But before, grabbing the easy, jar uh, easy camp here. Get those siege giants up in the lane. Uh, put a little bit more pressure on and make Hyperactive deal with that issue. Yeah, they're gonna go for it. They can't really let them sit here since they do have the catapults coming up as well in, in this next, or in the upcoming wave. So that would be a big issue for them. Definitely have to deal with that right away. And the bribe coming out of Falstad from the siege giants in the top lane. And top lane, uh, well they, they can still defend it, but um, that keep is the next one to fall. It is al almost halfway down already. And we have this, the knights coming in again. And not the best uh, scouting here coming out of Hyperactive. Three levels down, so I haven't really recovered yet. And it's gonna be a big issue for them to even take on these team fights. They need to really really pick a good spot to initiate here. And the next tribute is coming up. This might be their chance. Vela saw them coming in. Oh, Felsen from the right side. LGN doing a good bit of damage, but oh man, with that stun coming out of Ufer, he just gets the entire team stunned, and Rhaegar can't even keep it alive. Arthas falls, uh, Tychus falls, and now everyone is just in all-out retreat mode. Shen, oh, he... Uh, he drops out of the ultimate, so he might be able to keep alive. Uh, Rhaegar could get away here. Nope, Felsa jumps in, and they might get the final blow out of him. Oh, there comes the heal, and a good body block coming out of the noob material, and they will get Shen, even though he was still pretty, um, pretty high up in health. But Rhaegar needs to get out of there, um, he needs to heal up and get some more mana in. But they do want to keep that, uh, keep the keep alive, and that's going to be an issue here. Only, uh, only two heroes in, alive and right here. Arthas should be coming in. No, looks. Yeah, there he goes. But the keep is already gone, so way too late for that. And now they can just easily uh, grab the tribute and afterwards just go for the boss, steal the boss, and put on the pressure here. And hyperactive, they're in big trouble. Only one, one keep remaining. Uh, catapults in two lanes, and they're already doing damage on the Nexus. Um, the next wave should be coming in here, and we'll get the first damage done there. Oh, they're actually gonna go for their own boss first. No, they did grab. Oh, this one's not coming up yet. So they're gonna go for their own boss first. So this does give Hyperactive the time to um, grab their their boss, which um, which they should definitely uh, focus upon. Yeah. They will grab the knights first, and we still have that lane here uh, with the catapult, so Tychus is going to deal with that. And the boss is on the way alongside a very strong team alternate, two levels up. And oh, wow, Hyperactive completely ignoring, entirely ignoring the knights. They know they need the defense right now, otherwise they might die to this incredible push. Five heroes. Almost three levels up for ultimate, and they have a boss incoming. 
So they need to kill him before the boss comes, otherwise they won't have a chance. Oh, the Korm is popped, there comes the Bloodlust, and they do a good bit of damage there on the noob. Maybe even take him out halfway, but oh wow, those three levels make all the difference in the world. Arthas is taken out, they do get a noob a rock, but Tessida, he needs to retreat. Rega needs to get out of there, and Tychus just puts on the damage, Shen even getting out of there, and now they're just gonna focus on the Nexus, wait for them to come back in. Oh, Tychus completely out of position, he gets taken out. And everyone is coming back in, but the Nexus just taking so much damage right there. And with that, they do take game number one. Wow. <laughs> Pretty incredible. I thought that uh, Hyperactive had a, a better chance in this game. Since I saw them in the first round in the uh, Rocket vs. Sphere. And they did a pretty good job. I don't know um, who they played against. I think Fast Forward, I'm not too sure. But they, they did a pretty amazing job, and here it look, just looked all too easy for Alternate. Alright, so let's jump into the next game. Game number two was, I think, played out on Dragonshire. Yep, correct. So I'll jump into that. And again, in about 10 minutes, the Arcana uh, Heroes Cup will start. And we'll get started with the first game, which should be um, Team Comet versus Mouse Boards. So that's essentially the um, Russian and Ukrainian uh, StarCraft pros versus um, the uh, mostly German uh, heroes team, entirely heroes team. All right, let's get started here. On the next map, we have again Team Alternate on the left side here on Dragonshire, and they have Krolo on Uther, Guccio is playing Vala, and we have Mopsio on Muradin, Tychus is played by Gluehammer, and an Uberag played by Vassal. And their opponents on the right side are Hyperactive in the red, they have Rhaegar again, Tassada again, played by KM, and we have Arthas, Falstad, and Tyrael. So, um, not quite the same composition. They did steal Falstad and uh, Falstad and Tyrael. But other than that, pretty similar. And let me just fix the scoreboard here. Alright. But they're not going for um, that gank attempt early on like the, in the last game, but ooh, alternate is. Murden jumps in there, misses his stun though, but the follow-up stun out of uh, Ad uh, Anubarak doing a good job. Arthas pretty low already, but Falsa did a good, did a good bit of damage on uh, Anubarak and also Murden. Joints are coming up in 20 seconds. We have Tassada um, doing a good job just uh, pushing this middle lane against Valor. Shouldn't run into too much trouble there. And maybe the engage coming in. Oh, missing the stun there by Anu. Not very characteristic of him. But he might go for another try. They're all lined up. He does have a chance, but now they're gonna grab the shrine. Shrine in the top is contested by Uther and Rega. But Rega can't go in there right now. And we have the next Tifa coming in. Ooh, Anub taking a lot of damage, but he deep dives out of there. And Arthas might be able to body block. No, Muradin, of course, able to jump out of there. But they will grab the bottom shrine. Can Rega grab the top? Ufer? Oh, he's pretty low already. Rega doing a good job staying alive. He still has a lot of mana. So he can contest that shrine if he, if he wants to. As a, meanwhile, he's being pushed back by Valor a lot. Really surprised. And they still want to grab that shrine, but here is they're waiting. Oh, Noob's coming in and they're all lined up. Oh, yes, he does get that stun off. Tyrael and Felstead in trouble, but they will get away. Arthas moves in, trying to re-grab that shrine. And Noob already taking a lot of damage, but he does have to pull that up. Oh, nice stun coming in! And there comes the final blowout of Tyrael. Might even get Ty uh, Tychus here. No, he does get away. But they did re-grab the shrine and got the kill out of the Noob Rock. Oh, Vala, one of the big sneaky there, but did give up on, on the middle lane for a little bit. And now it could be hyperactive that might be able here to grab the Dragon Shrine. Oh, another gank attempt. 
on Felstead, he dashes away, Mjolder comes in, and with the stun and jump, he does get him. And now Tyrael will lose that bottom shrine. Tassada, ooh, so close, he might have, might have been able to grab it. But that wasn't, wow, just so close. I think one, maybe half a second left on the channeling there. And Tyrael alone won't be able to grab, re grab the shrine. Tychus doing a good job defending this. And now we have Tassada and Arthas moving in. Ooh, Tychus is in trouble. Noob jumps in. And the perfect stun getting all four heroes. Tychus might go down though. No, one blow remaining. And Tyrael, he's so low. He needs to get out of there. Tychus did drop though. And Murden now in trouble. But another amazing stun. Vassal is just on top of this game today. And he did have so many amazing stuns out of this. Now they should go for the shrine. Um, Tessida is already moving back, Falset is gonna grab that shrine, but I think Arthas needs to stand down here. Yeah, he will. He needs to stay down here just to keep the shrine on their side. And now Tessida can channel. Tyke is not quite in position to re... Uh, stop it. Oh, now he is. And the shield just coming a little bit too late. Not saving him there. And they do want to re-grab that shrine, but Falset, so much trouble. Amazing stun out, out of LGN. Does keep his uh, comrade alive here. And the follow-up stun by Vassal. And good shield, keeping keeping Arthas alive. He was already so low. They're re gonna re-grab that shrine. Oh, not quite. Oh, Tyrael moving out of position a little bit too early. I think Tassada can't stand his ground by himself. And Falset does grab that shrine. Oh! Tyrael almost did grab every rock there. And Rega is doing a really good job um, in the top lane, just keeping his shrine. Uh, Ufer not really able to actually go up in there. He does push that lane quite a bit as well. But the fight down here is just amazing. I've never seen such a long fight just for a single shrine. There's a regret by Alternate. And Arthas has to come back in here. Stun out of Muren keeps Tychus alive and completely missing the stun there. But Anoop doesn't miss a stun. He goes in on Arthas. And Arthas' shields dissipates, Vela putting out a good bit of damage, Felset has to jump in, Muradin does stun him, and ooh, Vela's in trouble, but Arthas is killed on the on the hunt, and Tassada also in big trouble as well, he did put the shield up on Tychus, uh, on, on Felset, he was still alive, but he needs to get out of there. Kane actually pretty close to the wall here as well, so he has to retreat, Hearthstone back to the Nexus, and heal back up. But they did get Vela in that exchange. And Rega still keeps the top shrine for hyperactive. Bottom shrine will remain grabbed so far for alternate. As long as they don't have three heroes down there, they have no real chance of grabbing it. Um, the Tychus and Uberak combo is just way too strong. And one thing we've noticed so far, no camps have been taken whatsoever, completely ignoring the camps for now. LGN seeing Muradin and Anubarak out of position, so he knows, okay, it's pretty dangerous to go in there right now. And there comes the engage out of Arthas, not getting the stun up though, and Vala is waiting in the back. But this is a good position for all today, they're coming in from all sides simultaneously, and Arthas completely trapped there between Vala and Anub. And wow, good shield coming out of Tassadar, keeping Arthas alive once more. Tyrael falls, and there's the Odin. He goes in and should get a good kill off. No, Arthas get, gets away. And not even grabbing that. No, it will grab Tassadar. That was just too easy. But Arthas is kept alive, so still re yeah, kind of uh, keeping their losses low. But there comes the final grab here on the shrine. Um, it's not going to be able to re-grab that. Outset might run into trouble and Ufer will grab the top shrine. So Vala, she might be able to go into the Dragonite and secure that. But Rega, Arthas and Tyrion move in. Another good stun. Vassal again with the perfect stun. Arthas is taken out. and. Hyperactive, they need to stop this, they need to stop the channeling. But there are only only four heroes remaining and I don't know, right now they can't even get out of there. And 
Dragon, uh, Dragon, Dragon Knight is in control by Alternate. He's gonna go for the bot lane. Uh, not everyone in position. Uther is gonna go back, uh, grab the experience on top, and maybe push back a little, little a bit. So they're gonna go for a little bit of a split push there. And again, changing lanes with the Dragon Knight. He's going for the middle now. And will take out that gate as well. And even the towers might fall. Hyperactive can't really get an engagement angle going here. Oh, they might go for it. I mean, Ufer is gone. This, sh this should be a chance to take it. But since the Dragon Knight is still pretty high up in energy and um, still 10 seconds remaining, they want to wait. They want to wait out until the Dragon Knight is gone and then engage. But it's already pretty low, and 25% health remaining. And they all have their ultimates up. And there comes the engage out of Anoop. Burden jumps in there. Arthas taking a lot of damage here, but he's being healed up by Rhaegar. And there comes the, there comes the turnaround. False set. But oh, he's interrupted in his ultimate. And Tyrael completely surrounded. He's taken out. And they might grab Anoop, but Rhaegar, he's in trouble. And Nuke does go down, but Riga, he's so close to dying. Arf is also taken out. Oh, nice shock and awe coming out of Fault's dead. Big grab Mirrod in there. And it's 3 versus 3. They can keep this keep alive, if, uh, this fort alive if they're good. Comes the shield. And Fault's dead, taking a lot of damage. He's taken out. Luther did join that fight in the end. And now only. Only Tassila and Rhaegar here is still left alive. But they are going to retreat to the lanes. Not going to push that fort too hard. They know, okay, the death timers are almost up. We are, uh, we are in trouble uh, if we just go back too deep into the fort. Instead, just going for the night camps. And the easy camp here. Or, or the bot lane. And have no issues just grabbing those. Same goes. Or hyperactive. Also gonna grab the knights and it grabbed the easy camp here. So false that uh, does have bribe up, I believe. Uh, no, he just grabbed it by himself. And knights almost uh, almost marching towards the top lane at the same time. Felt that it's completely singled out here and a good stun coming out of Muradin. No follow up stun out of the noob. He wanted to get uh, Tyrael and uh, Rhaegar out of the fight. But they're not gonna go for that for just yet. We are blessed by the light. You might actually see a Siege Knight uh, Siege camp being taken here by Hyperactive. No, nope. it's alternate that's going for that. And there comes a stun out of the noob. Hyperactive, they wanna come in, they wanna. You want, they want to divide and conquer. That's going to be a big issue for them though. Mirrodin does jump in. Oh, and Falstead being pushed back. Wow, what an amazing stun again by Vassal. Just getting all heroes there. And the healing comes in. Tyrael also pretty low already. And Odin form is popped. Can he get the, can he get the nice shot off? I think no, he's taken out. But Puff is already so low. Tassel in the back there. Rhaegar has to go back and save him, but they can turn this around. Felsip is gone, and now I think is the turning point. Arthas is already pretty low again, and the stun follow up by Vassal. They will lose this keep. They should stay alive. No, he's taken out. And only Rhaegar remaining, and with that they have no issue just taking out this fort. And now complete map dominance coming out of Alternate. Top Shrine is going to be contested as well. So with the Death Timers almost 20 seconds on Arthas and Valor almost in position to grab that Shrine, I think they might be able to go for the Dragon Knight straight away as well. Tiger's already in, on the way. They have to deal with the minions first. Mirrodin almost ready to jump in there and they will get the second Dragon Knight as well. And now, just a strong push coming down the middle lane. Felsit is still on top. Um, the minions have almost pushed towards the keep. And the second fort is in big, big trouble. And it will fall. No worries at all for alternate. Let's see if they're gonna check and switch lanes. Yes, they will. 
Dragon Knight straight going for that next fort and only one tower remaining here. So it's not going to be an issue for them to just take this out as well. And with the bridge right there, this is a really, um, yeah, a really fierce spot. The Hyperactive can't really engage out on the bridge, uh, especially with a noob on the team. It's just so easy to um, get the perfect stun off. They, they will need to wait and engage here next to their keep, and they're going to be in the same trouble that we had last game. Just losing that keep early on, and definitely want to avoid that if at all possible. And that still has 10 seconds remaining, they will stall for a little bit. But Arthas already moving in, they're oh, completely missing a stun. And there comes the follow-up stun out of the noob, double stun coming in. Falset gets a good job, but Tyrion is already taken out. And also Tassadar pretty low alongside Arthas, he is falling. And Tassadar won't get away, Falset also taken out. And I think this might be enough for Alternate to just rumble through the base. And yeah, they're gonna grab that keep for sure and might even go for the Nexus straight away. They're three levels up and only Rega is still alive. Um, I think they're just gonna push on all out and take up this... Yeah, they're gonna take up the Nexus. Almost halfway gone, still 10 seconds remaining for Tyrael. And only Tyrael and Rega are not gonna do all that much here. And there we go! 2-0 for Alternate. Wow, a little bit surprising there. I thought Hyperactive um, would put up a little bit uh, of a better fight, but didn't quite work out in the end.